wasn't necessarily looking at love too much or the looks or money. In January 2019, beautiful Ghanaian actress Yvonne Nelson made it clear to fans that Nigerian men have shown up premium shege while appearing on Cooks and Braggarts. A cooking show hosted by a colleague, Yvonne Okoro, the Princess Tayara star said she's open to dating again, but as for Nigerian men, she's done. Nigerian. Oh, I don't mind. I'm because Ghanaian. I remember there was some time oh, that everybody Nigerian thought you liked, men. you preferred Nigerian As men. As for Nigerian <laughs> men, I am. <laughs> my waist, my waist, <laughs> all I need. <laughs> At the time, fans didn't understand why the beautiful actress wanted to counsel Nigerian men until some shocking revelations in her book. Regarding matters of the heart, the Ghanaian screen diva has been unlocking love. In a memoir, I am not even Nelson. The 37-year-old movie star revealed that her name has opened many financial doors for her and her fame and even beauty has attracted men of various status and nationalities. But no matter what she does, how much she loves or even how she presents herself, these men always leave her heartbroken. Detailing a life journey and relationship with men, the House of Gold star actress said Nigerian men were the absolute worst of all the men she has met. In a book, the successful entrepreneur said Nigeria exposed her to its powerful men in politics, chieftaincy and the church, many of whom just wanted to get between legs. Yvonne details how a powerful Nigerian politician once asked to see her, only to realize later in the hotel room that she was being pimped. When the movie producer refused to cooperate, he gave her friend one million naira as transport fare, from which he got half. But that was the tip of the iceberg. On one occasion, a friend told talented actress about a traditional Nigerian ruler who wanted to support the Yvonne Nelson Glaucoma Foundation. When Yvonne finally arrived, she realized again that she was being pimped as she refused to cooperate. She got $5,000 as compensation for traveling to see the king. Again, a powerful, charismatic preacher tried to buy the actress's body. Yvonne says she eventually gave up and she never heard from him again until she started reading sexual assault accusations against him. We wonder who this pastor is. But beyond all these epic stories, Yvonne Nelson has enjoyed a flattering love life over the years, had been engaged before, madly in love, and has dated entertainers, Ghanaian men, foreigners, and even Nigerian men. But it all crashed like badly stacked cards because, according to the actress, it is a man's world. Is it really a man's world or does the actress go for the wrong men? Without wasting any more time, let's look at all the men Yvonne Nelson said she has been romantically involved with and her experience with Nigerian men. He had it all planned out. Um, he knew what he was looking for and I guess he had it or he got it. Last it year. actually ended like on my birthday. Oh wow. Yeah. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Joel Duncan Williams. In May 2018, Joel Duncan Williams, the son of the founder of Action Faith Chapel International, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, tied the new town knot to his beautiful sweetheart, Anisha. Of course, this was in a colorful and lavish ceremony with dignitaries such as the Ghanaian president. But what if we told you that once upon a time, Joel Duncan Williams was all over the place proposing love and marriage to the beautiful Yvonne Nelson? In 2009, while shooting The Prince Bride, the actress said Joel visited someone on set and as soon as he set eyes on her, he fell in love. According to the movie star, Joel was all over her. He would buy her lunch and visit her on set, flanked by security and the mini convoy that followed him. Sadly, this is not a classic love story that ends on the altar and the couple lives happily ever after. Things ended abruptly one day when Joel declared that before he could proceed with their marriage, Yvonne Nelson must first go to his father to be prayed for. That prayer aimed to ensure that whatever demons or evil spirits were present in the actress or her family line would be cast out. I therefore found it funny that someone who was interested in marrying me and hadn't secured my consent thought I needed to be spiritually cleansed even before it proceeded. <laughs> it didn't even see the need for that cleansing to be mutual. She wrote, We bet you find it funny too. Sakodie This Ghanaian rapper isn't just another man in the line of Yvonne Nelson but one of the many men who broke her heart into pieces. Over the years, there have been many hushed whispers about the two heavyweight entertainers dating. Following the release of her memoir on June 18, 2023, the talented actress finally addressed the rumors. According to Yvonne, she and Sakodie were never in love. 
just two people fooling around. But after she got pregnant for him in 2010, the movie star expected some sympathy and responsibility. At the time, Yvonne was 25 and the Ghanaian rapper was 22. So, the movie star understood that it was just an upcoming singer living with his parents. Still, the celebrated film producer didn't expect that his first reaction would be telling her to delete the baby so it won't disrupt his career. And Yvonne would later find out that it's because he had a girlfriend, who many people think is his wife today. Whether or not his career and the uncertainty of life were the reasons he could not afford to let me keep the pregnancy, I cannot tell. I later discovered that he had a girlfriend who was attending a university outside the country. It was in her absence that he got involved with me and things got dangerously complicated. Whatever it was, his stance was clear and I was left to evaluate my own options," she wrote. The actress didn't want a child to grow up without a father like her and did exactly as Sakodie told her. Unfortunately, Yvonne Nelson almost died in the process. The actress first tried a pill that almost unleashed her but didn't work before visiting another place to get it done again. Interestingly, while Yvonne Nelson is unmarried and a single mother today, Sakodie in 2018 went on to marry his German Ghanaian girlfriend, Tracy Sakes, who is still very much together and raising two beautiful kids. Inyanya and this brings us to Inyanya, the first Nigerian man Yvonne Nelson ever got entangled with. As with most non-Nigerian women, the actress fell madly in love with this Nigerian man in 2012, who according to her would turn out to be Casanova II. Inyanya was, was very special and um, we had a thing. Um, but I guess it was all a joke. In chapter 10 of her book titled Inyanya and My Love Life, the actress said she thought the feelings were mutual and genuine, especially after the MTN Project Fame Season 1 winner tattooed her initials YN on his waist and gave her a big shout out on his hit song Your Waist. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only thing genuine about the 8 months relationship was the breakfast it would serve her. One day, the screen diva recalled a call from someone who told her that the singer was cheating on her with Tonto DK. The caller said anytime I left Nyanya's place, another actress came over to him and someone slept over. The person felt strongly that something was going on between them and thought I should know. The actress turned out to be Tonto DK of Nigeria and one of the female celebrities Inyanya named in his Your Waste song. When I was convinced about the authenticity of the information I received, I was heartbroken. The book reads, To date, Inyanya has not confessed to cheating, but he says he misses Yvonne and they are cool. Of course, I mean, once in a while you just reminisce and miss good people. It is what it is. We are cool. He said during an interview with Cool FM after the book release. Ice Springs Just when we thought we had heard it all, in November 2014, Ole Kukruna Ice Springs revealed that he and Yvonne Nelson once had a love tango. According to the rapper, the romance ended shortly after they started going out because they were too busy with their careers. It just didn't work. She was way busier than I was at the time. I'm a very busy person too. Ice Prince explained during an interview with Beat FM. The singer added that he still talks with Yvonne Nelson now and then. She's still a sweet girl. However, during an interview with Genevieve Magazine in August 2015, Yvonne Nelson called Ice Prince a liar and an attention seeker because they never dated. I wasn't in a relationship with Ice Prince. He was just a friend to me. I don't understand the kind of attention he was trying to draw to himself by claiming we had a relationship. If he wanted to say the truth, why didn't he just say it from the beginning? All along, he's been saying that we're friends and all of a sudden, he turns around to claim that it was more than a friendship. She said, Is Ice Prince lying or Yvonne too embarrassed to admit that another relationship with a Nigerian man didn't make it to the next level? Anonymous ex fiance if you ever thought Yvonne Nelson was never close to saying I do on the altar, well, we are here to shock you. In her book, the actress talked about an anonymous lover who proposed to her on her 29th birthday. 
on November 12, 2014, the man took her to Venice, the city of love and romance, and popped the question. Even though the movie star didn't love the guy, she nodded because she didn't know how to say no. At 29, I wasn't the happiest of ladies you could find. On the outside, things were moving well, but they didn't translate into internal joy and peace of mind. For instance, I was dating a man I didn't love. A man who was making marriage plans when I was planning how to opt out without hurting him too much," she wrote. After the engagement, the lover she thought was a good man started changing to a villain, exhibiting controlling behavior and even trying to isolate her from friends. After he was rude to one of her guests and ordered her to tell the guests to leave his house, she left and sent his ring to him through DHL. And that was the end. Jamie Roberts And there is Jamie Roberts, the actress baby daddy and the biggest love of her life. It's such a confusing time in my life. Coming after her failed engagement, Yvonne started dating the British photographer. The lovers first met on social media while he was still married. His ex-wife, Killa Harrison, a Nigerian woman, was a massive fan of the actress, leading Jamie to reach out to Yvonne on social media. They started chatting casually and then reconnected after his marriage hit the rocks. The actress fell hard for Jamie and in no time began picturing him as a husband and father to her unborn children. I just knew that he was the right man to have a, a kid with. Ryan was supposed to cement our relationship and make things complete. We were supposed to naturally transition from what we had built to a more formal and binding one. It was a man in whom I saw a husband. I had always wanted to have children, but meeting him settled any reservation about anything to the contrary. His relationship with his children was great. It convinced me that should I want a father figure for my child, then this was the ideal man," she wrote. However, their love never progressed to the altar. While pregnant with their daughter, Jamie's bitter ex-wife sent Yvonne an explosive email detailing damaging information about Jamie. And that was the end of their budding romance. When I had a baby, everyone was just so nosy. They wanted to know who it was because I don't put my relationships online. Today, they are co-parenting just fine. Despite all these heartbreaks and situation sheeps, it looks like Yvonne Nelson attracted another crush by another man holding all the biggest red flags. In her book, the actress revealed a married Ghanaian pastor has been chasing after her and promised to spoil her with money. There is a renowned pastor in Ghana who has made conquering me part of his mission. He is not out to conquer me for the Lord but for himself. He is married and he has the influence and money. And his main catchline has been that I should name whatever I wanted. It talks as if I cannot work for my own money," she wrote. Amazingly, this actress has her own money and isn't going to settle for less despite all the disappointments. Instead, she revealed in a recent video while on set that she is single, believes in love and looking forward to falling in love again. I believe in love and I I wish I could fall in love and do all the lovey-dovey stuff, right? But I feel like the love we're practicing or the love we see around these days is all a scam. I have fallen in love before when I was younger, but it all broke my heart. What do you think about Yvonne Nelson's love life and a complicated relationship with men? Would you say she's unlucky when it comes to love or simply dating the wrong men? Do you believe she would find love again and shouldn't settle for less? Finally, do you think the actress has genuinely cancelled Nigerian men or will love definitely take her where she least expected? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.